This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Jerusalem United Holy Church Daily Bread. In Romans chapter 8 verse 28, Paul speaking to the Romans said, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. In 2004, we expected our first child. You could only imagine the excitement and anticipation of a wonderful bundle of joy who would join the family in a matter of months. Is if there's anything known as a perfect pregnancy, I had it. The checklist was in place. The suitcase was packed. The baby's furniture and accessories in place for both at home and by the grandparents. We were all excited and we waited. In the 37th week on that Monday evening, when dad returned from work, the baby's response was not as energetic as usual. However, we just thought it was time to rest. The following day was the doctor's appointment and we journeyed there in the afternoon for the weekly checkup. Our doctor proceeded with the ultrasound and we recognized that there was extra additional poking than usual. And then we all began to realize there was no heartbeat. Later, the doctor looked at me and said, do you know what this means? One tear fell from my face in the doctor's office. However, when I reached my parents' home, it all fell apart. It certainly wasn't the easiest all things. However, it definitely was that special grace extended to those who are the called according to his purpose. Did Paul make a mistake when he spoke to the Romans, telling them that all things work together for good? Was the word good misplaced in the phrase? Should it have read, all good things work together to them that love God? Absolutely not. All that the Lord does, he does for good. It's not have worked together or shall work together for they are always working together for good. Did you know that every detail of our lives is continually woven together for good in an effort for those who have been called to fulfill his divine purpose? Did you also know that our present troubles are small and wouldn't last very long? Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. 2 Corinthians 4.17 17 years later, we are here along with another beautiful daughter God has blessed us with. We continue to build the kingdom and fulfill God's purpose. We join the songwriter who penned these words. Lord, we thank you for our journey. You've brought us from a mighty long way. Our lives have been enriched by the power and move of God. We love God so much and our desire is to reflect his character so that others see and want the God we have, the God we love, and the God we serve. Joseph was one biblical character where this verse was evident. It was around the age of 17 that he started to be highlighted in Genesis chapter 37. Jacob, his father, loved him more than his brothers because he had been born to him in his old age. His brothers hated him as a result and showed it. Reviewing Joseph's life, we saw all things working together for good. All things we saw picked. All things we saw prison. All things we saw palace. Certainly it had to be that special grace extended to those who are the calls according to his purpose that kept Joseph through those years. This special grace is extended today to help us in our all things. Let us pray. 
Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sinned against us. We pray for discernment to know the season that we are in. We pray for wisdom to navigate the road ahead. We pray for faith to believe that you are working all things together for our good. We pray for that special grace to steer the course. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.